Taiwan's representative to Japan, Frank Shea, was questioned at the legislature today. At the top of the agenda, Japan's hope that Taiwan will lift a ban on certain food imports that could be contaminated with radioactive substances from Fukushima. Japanese media has said progress could be made on the issue at a bilateral meeting later this month. But Shea said he knew nothing about it. Xie was at the legislature today for a hearing, but reporters first asked him about Taiwan easing a ban on food imports from areas affected by the nuclear meltdown at Fukushima in March 2011. South Korea is also still imposing a ban, but it's only banning aquatic products. I'm not here today because Japan wants me to talk about this. I'm here because lawmakers have asked me to come. I've received absolutely no pressure from Japan. Japanese media have reported, however, that the next Taiwan-Japan trade meeting will be held in late November and will discuss the import ban and the controversy over Okinotori Atoll. KMT legislator Liu Yuling said Japan seemed to be taking advantage of Taiwan, but Xie said he was not in the loop. To be honest, of course I want to make it seem like I know everything, but responsibilities are divided up and I actually don't know about that. We're still coordinating with the Japanese side the details of the next Taiwan-Japan trade and economic meeting, whether it be when the meeting will be held or the topics to be discussed. Legislator Liu asked Xie about a report that President Tsai Ing-wen sent an envoy to Japan to gather intelligence during the Chinese Communist Party's 19th National Congress last month. Basically, if a person was sent and somebody had come, I would have known about it, and I know nobody was sent. It was a rare appearance at the legislature for Xie, and lawmakers were determined to quiz him on all matters Japan.